But I'd rather, I'd rather just sing. Sing. Hey, this building, it looks really interesting, so oh, not going to go in this building. <laughs> to you, I'm going to go somewhere else. Got, man, I don't know why I'm getting these little disk access looking skips here. Uh, I, oh, hey, there's another new place there, but apparently I don't know where I am, and, oh, yeah. Follow the ridiculous starstruck lovers there. <laughs> apparently I missed something up here, you see? I was trying to, what? <laughs> Frobs play, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call it very crazy bad luck that I never saw the frob highlight, and due to that, I'm going to call it this window didn't look frobable because it's small and it's only got one shutter, whereas these have got two. But I feel quite silly now, but... I, what? What is with the frame rate? That is... What? And I just booted up and where's the loot and... What's... Hmm... What, is he wearing it or something? No. Oh, oh. Okay. It, oh, hey, yeah, there's secrets. Well, let me try throwing a crate there. All right, this guy's music. I'll throw a crate at you. Uh, well, it didn't break dramatically, but uh, I guess that's okay. You know, you, guards are doing a poor job of preventing people throwing crates at singers. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. No, still not. Ah, uh, this is this is inconvenient. Well, I guess I'll close this again because this. Ladder? These ladders in this game are quite finicky. I really must completely confess. Let me land on your head! Ugh. However, there's something up there now. There's guys up there, and and, and now I want to get up there. What, did I climb the drain pipe or something? No, it's just a ladder. The drain pipe doesn't even have a collision on it. What's... Oh, I see. Okay, fine enough. You see, this mission, the loot goal is optional. However, I really do want to make a very valiant effort to grab a good portion of the loot because I feel like I should not be rushing through this campaign. Uh, oh yeah, I don't care. As, uh, as you know, it really deserves better than to be rushed through, I'm sure. I mean, I've only played a little bit, but, you know, this author is, you know, she made some great stuff that I keep saying, and why are there the crates all over? That's pretty suspicious. It's like people using them as stepping stones. That's actually quite, uh, quite a good little thing there. My darling, I will allow you to go to the fair tonight, but only if you obey the following rules. Ne 1. Never lose sight of Stephen. Always stay close to him. 2. If you see that weird mechanist, move away from him right away. Do not talk to him. Since the mechanist order died, we see more and more of their haggard members roaming the city streets, muttering incoherently. Poor men. Three, if Stephen wants you to follow him to the inn, firmly refuse. I don't want my daughter to become a drunk, or worse, uh, an innkeeper. <gasps> Four, if you see a man approaching you, to offer you candies, for example, flee. Oh, God. We have enough with two young unwed mothers in the fa- oh. <laughs> and five, you come back home by eleven. If you are one minute late, I will call the guards, and you know how old Gurney behaves when he's drunk. Enjoy your evening, my darling. Your loving mother. Oh, dear. I could have lived my life without reading that, but oh, well. <laughs> I think this is still not quite the roof that I was seeing, though. Man, isn't this mission causing strange skippage, or... Is it... Is it something on my end? I don't know. It's, it's a little bit weird. I think this is completely... In the opposite direction. What? It's not... I thought this was going to lead me to some roof, like a different kind of roof, but I guess it didn't, so I don't saw that noise. The one I was thinking of was over there, but it's right here, so it's my problem even. The three, oh, <laughs> duh, and there's the inn, so that other building was something else entirely, and then I saw another door, like, but I think this is the mayor's house, isn't it? Yeah, that's the mayor's house, but the other door I saw was locked. Hang on. Oh, this is a new place. Okay, well, hey there, lady. Staring at 
a guy made of stone longing for him to propose to you, but it's just not going to happen because he's too cold. In remembrance of all men, fathers, sons, brothers, and husbands who died at sea, may the builder receive them <clears throat> in his heart. Ah, yes. And I, you know, may the thief continue to rob from him with absolutely no respect for the dead. That's a mighty emotionally lit place there. I like that. I want to go over that way, except I can't. Oh, dear. And again, I'm lost, so, uh... One moment again, I guess. I better start leaving doors open so I can see where I've been. Somebody told me there was a drunk mechanist with something on his waist, but there's nothing on this guy's waist. I'm assuming a bottle. Wait. Okay, <laughs> he just picks it back up by way of telekinesis whenever I drop it. Maybe he was talking about some other drunk mechanist, possibly. Man, it looks like there could be climbing to be done, but uh, no ropes. It's kind of an issue. Well, I guess I'll quickly have a peek around for other th pe people think. Pe well, now I'm some other place. I don't know if I've been here or not. Well, what do you know? It's some kind of storage room. You know what I was, thought I was going to have to do with that window is to stack crates up, which kind of would have been cool if there would have been something interesting in there. Uh, but, you know, it was just a small <laughs> amount of loot, which isn't really interesting. Oh, have I been here? Well, it's an electrics room. It's pretty dandy. Jeez, okay, I remember going this way, but where's that one door? Well, here's some stairs. It's kind of near the fountain thing there. I don't think I've gone up here. Perhaps it'll lead me to some place exciting where I can read a note that... Oh, wow. Higgins note? Eliane, don't wait for me tonight. I cannot go to the fair with you. No, no, please don't cry. I know that you were so happy to be going to the fair, but I feel that I have almost reached my goal. Didn't you notice that old Pingus was lurking around the church? I am convinced that his famous treasure is nearby. It is in the cemetery. I know it. I can feel it. I know you will forgive my absence, knowing that I will soon cover you with gold, my love. I will dig up the old graves all night, and we will be rich. Yep. The most important thing in any relationship is the love of money. Come on, it's obvious. Nobody's ever found that treasure. I remember that guy, Schultz, who was also searching for the loot. I checked his writings and he was totally wrong. Besides, no one knows how he disappeared. I was smarter. I followed old Pincus. At first, he didn't notice me. He's so deaf and myopic. Uh... Unfortunately, a friend who was passing by a bit later recognized me and hailed me. Thus, my shadowing failed. However, I saw that the old man was going toward the church. I think that if I could have followed him all the way, he would have literally opened the path leading to his stash. An old Scrooge like him must check his treasure many times daily just to make sure it hasn't been stolen, and he can't stop coming back to that place where he sleeps. Ah, ha! It is in the cemetery, I tell you. I will give you a huge pearl necklace, my darling. You know, one of the shiny ones that you like so much. Oh, and if the treasure is not in the cemetery, I will still follow old Pingus as he will eventually lead me to his hiding place. Or I can steal his cane and beat him with it until he confesses where he's hidden it. Higgins! Sire! Well, <laughs> okay then. I did look in the cemetery, but there appeared to be just a pile of old bones and a guy who didn't really care about me. Why do guys in cemeteries not care about me? Why can't people like me for me? Uh, I don't know. Perhaps because I'm not in the game world. That that seems like a good explanation, which sates my curiosity. Now, I'm going to be probably spending more time in this mission than I had originally considered, because, uh, wow, can I, hmm. Doesn't look like there's anywhere to go from there. I probably can't jump out here. Oh, I can't. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, skippity doo all over the place. Not really liking that. But oh, dude, this. What is wrong with you, computer? Making it hard to play. Okay, well, I guess it's just a balcony. Not even gonna try. Things. And I just restarted, so like I can't even. Oh, hey, 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 hey. It's it's a place where I. It's lets me jump, but I can't jump anywhere. Oh, wait a minute. Well, well, that's some proper grade A sneakitude right there, uh, jumping through people's windows in the, uh, not the thieves' highway, but perhaps the, uh, house's highway. It's fun. This is fun. I like this. Can you imagine such a crazy thing happening, coming to pass? 
Ah, uh, going through windows. Especially when people don't care about my presence, I get to not have to care about skill at all, although that's just the first mission and things are gonna get hairy later. Probably, possibly. I mean, hair tends to grow from non-existing to definitely existing, so that's why I, you know, felt that things are going to get a little bit hairy later. That's all, you know. It's my explanation. Sticking to it. Am I finally at a dead end where I really can't go anywhere further? Does that thing not slide or something? Does this window not open? Are there a few too many empty... Oh. Not. It's, it's a ring that didn't have a sound because it was probably being drowned out by some other sound. Let's turn on some nice little lights here. I think that's the kind thing to do. And I, I guess, unless this moves, I guess that's it for this whole little trail of uh, a thiefitude here. So I have to go all the way back down, unless I could fall onto that statue or something, but I don't think that's going to be possible. And I still, I'm going to have to like look at the original parts of the video just to find out what that door was that I saw, because seriously, here, it's the door here, I don't know why I kept not seeing it, but this is what I'm looking for. I don't know why I can get in through here. Maybe the door can't be picked or something? No, it can. So it's kind of, you know, an alternate way that's just right there, depending if you feel like using your tool tool or using your uh, built-in agility skill tool. Hang on. Oh. I thought there was something under the plate. But that's just crazy talking. Things go on top of plates, not under them. Well, I guess this building's not as exciting as I kind of thought it was. And it's just, you know, a hairbrush, which I greatly like because I can brush my hair. You know, if you've seen those videos where I show my actual face, you'll know I have very long hair, like a boss and like a man. And thus, I would obviously need a brush to comb it and stuff. Now, knowing that this isn't apparently an inn, but rather a bar wherein women turn into drunks and barkeeps. Oh, it is the inn. <sighs> well, there goes that line of questioning. I guess I'm kind of at the last part of the mission. So I'm going to end it exactly where I started it, and we have to make everything absolutely the same, including that door there. And this is totally a clone of the last video. See you guys later.